Welcome back to Bear and Breakfast. We were just about to go and find the bird gods, apparently. I just got given the key, so let's go and, like, see if we can find it. I actually don't know where this door that I'm supposed to be finding is. Ooh, did I ever go up here? I don't know if I ever went up this way, actually. Oh, this could be it. Oh, here we go. So we're supposed to go through here. Seems to lead to a hidden chamber. Okay. Intriguing. What have we found here? Is this the bird god? We found the bird god. Hello there, my friend. Um, why is nothing happening? Wow, that took a while. <laughs> Vlad, it's about time already. I've been waiting for ages. H Hello? Well, don't just stand there with a smart look on your face. I'm famished. I don't I, I don't want you to eat me. Uh, are you the bird god? God, king, lord, emperor, pick your favourite. As long as you bring me something to eat, at once. I am Vlad, and you shall not address me directly. You look a lot less scary than I thought. Are you really the thing from my dream? Oh, I'll turn into something scary, all right. Unless you get me something edible soon, I might just have to devour you. You have significantly fewer teeth than, than I thought. Quickly now, something red and delicious. Something I can really sink my significantly fewer teeth in. So what will it be? The blood of a newborn? Don't be ridiculous. I think your lord would go for some, some beets. I trust you still grow those around here. Okay, so the all oh, terrifying scary bird wants some snappy beet chips. <laughs> Makes sense. Okay, oh, there's the iron key so we can explore a little bit further in this area. That is awesome, actually. I've always wondered how to open that door. So now we know, now we know. All right, let's head down and see what we can, we can do here. How did I get in here? I gotta find the way back out again, you know? which sometimes isn't isn't too easy i really want to finish this quest here as well i feel like we could do it so yeah that would be really cool didn't i just find an iron key i swear we just found an iron key did we not where did it go what happened to it a rusty key that means there's another door in here somewhere that i haven't opened i have no idea where that's for Oh, is it this door? Oh, it's this door here. Okay, here we go. I just opened another hidden pathway. I wonder what we'll find inside this area here. Ooh, oh, I need some prospector gear. I'll have to go and get that then. That's okay. Where does this go? It's so confusing. <laughs> There's so many areas. I'll have to go get some prospector gears and like come back to this area, I think. I have a feeling this is all just gonna like loop, loop back round or something. Most likely. Oh, there's a treasure chest in here. <gasps> Ooh, some goodies. That had 10 silk in it as well. I wish I found that earlier. <laughs> Why give it to me at the end of the game when I'm like done? <gasps> What's through here? Onyx Tine? Oh my gosh. I'm finding some really awesome stuff actually. <laughs> I'm really excited to, to find out what we can do with all this. It's gonna be really, really cool. What's this stuff? Just some random wood, I guess. That's okay. All right. Oh, I'm on the other side. I found a, a gramophone and a floor clock. Nice. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. I'm really curious about that door. Um, it looked like the, the thing that was in my dream. It looked more like a deer than a bird god. I feel like that is the true door. Whatever this bird god is, I feel like he's an imposter or something. <laughs> I don't know, though. All right, where does this lead? We gotta go get that prospector gear in a second, but I'm just having a little nosy around. How did this get all the way in here? I don't know. What even is it? I have no idea. So a bit more to explore here than I first thought. So that's cool. There's a chest here as well, if I can get it oh there you go prospector gear no i don't have to go anywhere that's fantastic apart from i've got no room <laughs> like no room at all um 
Let's just like chuck these beans away. We don't need these beans. Just chuck them away. So then I don't have to like go anywhere. Kind of pointy. That's cool. It's like a little wolf statue. I really like that. Actually. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Okay, so... I came from up this way, right? So where does this way go? Ooh. There's another prospector. I'm gonna have to go back to get one anyway, it looks like. Because it looks like there is multiple pathways that require prospector's gear. So that's a bit of a pain. Let's head down first. See where this goes. I am so lost. This <laughs> these caves are like massive. And like I don't I don't even know where I'm going. Have I been here before? Is this just like has it just looped back round or what? Yeah, it has. That's the door. That's the door down there. Okay. That's good to know. So I wasn't sure. But we will get to the bottom of this area. <laughs> we will find all the secrets. All the secret and knowledge and all that stuff will be mine. It will be mine, I tell you. This looks familiar. I feel like I've been up here. I think this is just a shortcut, you know. I feel like we just unlocked at some kind of shortcut thing or something. Was there really nothing down there? Just gonna have one little check down here. So I don't know if we've been through here. A little doorway there as well where exactly am i <laughs> i don't know all right let's head for here it's like it all looks the same so i don't know if i'm like going anywhere new or like what oh that's the bridge that leads to the bird god so i know where i am now okay we're gonna go to oliver we're gonna grab a prospector gear and we are going to make these these um snappy beats as well so i'm looking forward to that okay so prospect gear i'm just gonna buy like a couple just in case we need more than one so that should be enough of that and what we're gonna do now is we'll fast travel to pine falls and we'll cook up these beets i don't actually know if i've got any beets on me i think i do we should be fine but if not I'll just like have to go to the greenhouse or something. But I did just loot the greenhouse not that long ago. So I feel like we should be okay. Well, we'll know when we get there. So that's going to be good. I'm really excited to find out what happens next. And what's going on with like this bird god and stuff. It's really intriguing stuff. Oh man, I just got like no room. I'm going to have to like put some of these things down. Uh, let's just go to sleep a second actually then um be a bit easier to see and also i'm working on this quest as well so i'm hoping this will kind of just like finish by itself still not finished with that just yet i'm just i'm trying to find movie buff people but they just like don't seem to be coming in and also distillery barfly i think that one that might be one of them as well it's just gonna take time it's just gonna like take a couple of days that sort here the barfly trait this is one that we need so definitely accepting this guy into my hotel all right there you go um so i just want to just whack these down a second just to give myself some inventory space i've got like no space whatsoever and i just like got all these random things from chests but i don't even need them <laughs> but it's okay just gonna put them down wherever just to give us a little bit of room. Maybe move that down a little bit. All right, now I got a tiny bit of space, which is great. Um, Where's the dining room? Because I have some food items that I could just like dump in like somewhere one of the the boxes or something oh man i can't even i can't even get through the door <laughs> there's so much stuff in here that i just like can't even fit can i get through here I can't even get through here, can I? Oh my gosh. I need to put like another doorway in or something. Mm, where would be a good place to enter from? <laughs> Nowhere. Nowhere is the answer to that. We could just move this out of the way and then I think I'll be able to get through. I think that was just like blocking the way. All right, there you go. Oh, I can't get through here now. God damn. Can't get through anything. All right, there you go. Can I get through now? nope because <laughs> this thing is in the way all right how about now all right finally <laughs> this is this um this bed and breakfast is not bear friendly <laughs> let's just say that 
Um, so, yeah, I was trying to go to the dining room so that I could put in, put something in. Um, I'm not going to be able to put anything in that one. So I just need to make, like, a really tiny one like this. And we're just going to put it, I don't know, in this corner and just hope that I can get to it. Oh, oh, what's going on? I think it's just auto-saving. Right, here we go. And then in this corner, we're just going to give them, like, some extra treats that I just, like, so happen to have on me. There you go. That just gave us a little bit of inventory space. I don't have much, but it's a little bit, so that's really good. That's really, really good. I need to finish this lounge as well, so I'm going to go check the... Just very quickly, I'm just going to go check the um, the junkyard so we can hopefully get some nails because I've been trying to do this quest. F well, no, it's not really a quest, but I've been just trying to finish that room off for a while and it's really bugging me. So I'm going to try and do that too. Okay, let's finally finish off this darn room. Okay, so I just, I was after this sofa so I can actually finish it. Wow, the sofa is bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> Oh boy, I hope I can actually fit this in somewhere. I just need to play Tetris a little bit. I'm sure I'll get this in. Alright, let's see. Can we get it around this corner? There we go. Fantastic. Finally sorted that room out. It took me a while to get that done, but I'm glad it is done. Because <laughs> I really wanted to have a lounge in this area, so that's good. Right, now we can make the snappy beats. Let's see, we just need to find the actual recipe itself i'm guessing it's gonna be like kind of a high recipe but i don't know oh snappy beats it's not as high as i was expecting actually that's okay though all right so beats i do have i got six beats so so we're lucky we actually we actually do have what we need so that's fantastic i'm making six of them don't think i needed that many but that's okay Someone's stuck up there. I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> it's fine. I don't think they're affecting me too much. So it's all good. There we go. We got the snappy beats. Let's go and turn it in to this bird brain. Let's do that. I've got quite a trek ahead of me. So it's quite, quite a walk. Okay, here we go. Time to give him the beats. Have you brought me my beats? Yep. Got them right here, my friend. Give it here. Oh, finally, something to appease the royal stomach. What's taking you so long anyway? I've been waiting here for what felt like ages. Is the ceremony ready? What? No, I don't even know who you are. Ceremony? Peasants. They keep me waiting all this time and they finally send over peasants. Listen, you, and listen well. Your king shall not be treated this way. King who? King, God, whatever you see me as. I was quite happy in my old land, even without my special title. I could even say that the modest amenities there were better than these royal chambers. I think we have a very different defini definition of royal, mister. I can't believe they sent such, such a simpleton after all this time. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything kingly about this place. It's a hole in the ground, an abandoned one. Abandoned? How dare you? These are, clearly, imperial grounds. You wouldn't know noble blood if it executed you in the town square. Why have you been locked in the, um, royal chambers for all this time? Because, because, because of the preparations, of course. It is by my endless grace that I allow you to hear this explanation only this once. Okay. Oh, another one got captured. Oh no. I was chosen as next in line for the divine throne by my loyal followers. They came to my home and took me on my regal trip towards my new kingdom, post-haste. It was quite a brutal journey, even by servant standards. This guy, he's just like, I feel like this is his coping mechanism. Like he just like pretends he's like a king and like these people are coming to take him to his royal pa palace or something. Oh my god. For the good of the realm and my own protection, 
The guards brought me here to the Imperial uh, Dark Cellar. Here, I would await the ceremony preparations to be complete. I should be summoned for my coronation soon. They do like to take their time. I feel really bad for him. Can't believe I have to explain myself to a provincial. I see. Well, at least you're not the bloodthirsty bird god looking to hunt me for sport. How rude. That's what your weird little followers told me. If you mean the three gremlins smelling around the caves for a whiff of my royal behind, I carry no such entourage. Then how did you know about them? And you can very much inform them that absent a coronation ceremony, I am to be left alone. I don't think there's gonna be one, Vlad. Oh no? Why else would I be brought all this way then? You are simply not well informed enough to grasp the intricacies of high of, of high level diplomatic arrangements. I will be here awaiting my servants. If you are not intelligent enough to be one, then be gone from my sight. Pfft, not royal chambers. What a churl. Um okay. Tell the flight what you've learned. Okay. I am to be left alone until my ceremony. Inform your gremlin friends. Oh, so I have to go and I have to go tell them what um, this dude has told me, I guess. <laughs> I feel really bad for him. I feel like he just got captured by humans. I don't know why they captured him. Maybe just to put him in a zoo or something. I have no idea. Or maybe just like to sell his feathers. Maybe he's a rare bird or something. I don't know why they would chuck him in a cave all by himself though. But then again, sometimes humans can be cruel, so maybe it's just like something like that. I don't know. Maybe they're just like evildoers. I have no idea. There's humans of all types after all. Okay, let's go over here. It's kind of sad though. I kind of like was hoping there would be like a happy ending here. <laughs> it seems like a lot of the animals got captured and had a bad time of things, so so. It's really surprising to see like such dark themes present in such a like happy like go lucky game. You wouldn't think that there would be something like that in a game like this, but it is very interesting, I have to say. Okay, I'm just going to quickly sort out my requests. I'm doing them because I'm trying to do this quest um still in the corner. It's just taking a little while, that's all. All right, with that sorted, let's go and tell the bats what we learned. I kind of get the feeling they got like the wrong god or something. I feel like there's another one. So, was there anything in there? Did you see him? I hate to break it to you fellas. There aren't any gods. Definitely not any bird ones. <laughs> I told you that he'd be too scared to go. I went through the entire cave and I found your bird god. No, you didn't. You're still alive. I did actually. His name is Vlad, and he has a considerably smaller amount of teeth than what I was told. But the feathers! Turns out, parrots shed feathers, especially when forced into a tiny room. Yeah, they get distressed. That's impossible! Oh, and he asked that you don't go creeping on him anymore. He's got other priorities. This doesn't make any sense. The vision in the dream said to look for it. Look for the bird god. I'm starting to think we should all skip late dinners before bed. Maybe it was just our imagination. I haven't dreamed it in a while. Yeah, me neither. Not since the night of the fire, after the bear died. So that settles it. We... The what? Yeah, the big fire. Were you born yesterday? What was that about a bear? There's no other bears in the valley except me and my mum. Was that his dad? Yeah, there was. They died in the fire, we think. How do you not know about that? I... I don't know. It was a big deal. That doesn't usually happen. Who was the bear? Did you know them? How did it happen? Look, Guy, you mind taking your unexpected revelations elsewhere? We kind of have our own to deal with here. Yeah, besides, it's not us you should be asking about bears around here. Our flavour is murderous, ruthless gods, and those aren't even in anymore apparently. Yeah, I'll find someone else to ask. Don't let us stop ya. 
Ooh, find someone to ask about a third bear in the valley. The plot thickens. <laughs> Where is this all going? That's what I want to know. Who are we asking? You absolutely sure that you and Margaret are the only bears in this forest unless your mum hasn't told you everything? Ooh, mum, what are you hiding, mother? <laughs> Let's go find out. So I gotta go down to the thicket. So my mum actually has more involvement in this game. So that's good. I'm glad about that. Let's go see what's happening. Let's go see what she tells us. I hope she tells us something significant. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is just like post game extra stuff that we're doing right now. But it's still really interesting. I'm really interested to see where this goes. I'm sure our mum will tell us everything. All will be revealed. The mystery is uncovered. <laughs> and all that stuff. I don't know. All right. Oh, there's a quest here too. Hello. Hey, Hank. Welcome back. What you up to? Oh, just finding peculiar stuff to make more humans turn up. Rad. I've got a bee in my bonnet. Well, not literally. Will was watching a movie the other day. Had a lot of scary vampires and some such. One of them had a very cool lamp next to their bed that I've never seen before. It was really gooey and cool looking. If you find any, do you think you could bring me one? Nacho cheese lamp? Oh yeah, sure. I can get you one of those. Easy peasy. What does my mum say? Hello dear. Are you alright? You seem a little off. Hey ma. Yeah, I'm okay. I've got something I need to ask you. Anything. Did something happen? No, I'm alright. I just... Do you know anything about another bear in the valley? Oh, I thought it was just the two of us. Um, of course it's just us, dear. Who else could it be? I don't remember a lot about the fire. I was so little. Oh, so this fire happened a really long time ago. I guess that makes sense. I don't know why I thought it was more recent. Hank, dear, I'm feeling a little cold in my fingers. Would you mind bringing your old mum a nice cu nice hot cup of tea? Oh, yeah, of course, ma. <gasps> I got the onyx time so I can go through the door. Ooh, Linden will do if you could. Oh my gosh, so many things are happening. I'm getting excited. <laughs> okay, I wonder if Will has a quest. It's nice that they actually did give these like characters quests, you know. Oh, Will doesn't get one. Why does Will not get one? That's not fair. Will should have a quest too. <laughs> why does the why does the dog get one and the, the bird doesn't? That's just sad. <laughs> I'm very sad. Will is my favourite. Okay, so if we go into our menu here and accept all of the junk from I got a lot of junk here actually. This should be enough to buy the nacho cheese lamp there we go so now we have that um the other thing we need to do is make linden tea you can only find linden in the beach side i believe so that's where you get that i think i already have some i don't know if i have enough but i know i have some spicy linden tea is it that it doesn't say spicy linden tea it must just be is there a normal one as well i just like have to have a look see if there's a normal one or if it is that one it could be that one but just double check a second it must be that one so i don't see any other kind of linden tea so it must be that one okay it just doesn't say spicy in the quest so that's why i just like wasn't sure right um let's see if we have everything we need here so honey ginger which i know i've got ginger and linden i got linden here and put it on the go voila making 16 of them <laughs> i don't think i need that many but hey it's fine right well at least we have everything we need so we can get both done like when we go back so that's great happy times what's the time okay um it's nearly nearly time to move ahead a day as well i did actually manage to get a movie buff and butterfly in for tomorrow as well so that's really good just have to go i'm just gonna go to sawdust i think this is the fastest way to to get down there i'm really excited to go through that cave and open that door as well I'm really curious about what's behind it. I really wonder what it is. <laughs> the curiosity is killing me. <laughs> we gotta go find out. 
I gotta go see what mum says first though, because maybe she'll give us like something, like some useful information or something that we maybe wouldn't know otherwise. So I just want to make sure that we're all like up to speed with all the knowledge and everything. Wait, why are, why are the NPC, they're off the map. I'm, they're probably just inside. They're probably just like asleep or something. Yeah, there you go. I don't know why it does that, it's weird. Any luck? I got one. Right here. This was it. Isn't it cool? It's super cool. So wavy and almost delicious looking. I don't have much to swap with though. Oh, I still have some of the dog collars I stole a few years back from the discount store. Dog collars? It's no way for a pup to live, you know. Discount dog collars? Is that a exhibit? I was going to burn them, but you can have them if you want. Yeah, it's an exhibit. I need to go get lilies <laughs> to, to do that one. That's okay. We'll do that in a second. That's fine. Did you make some tea? Yep, here you go. Just a little spicy. It's perfect. Just like you, my dear baby. Ma, do you know anything about another bear? You make such great tea. You should open a tea shop. Don't dodge the question, mother. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what all the flowers look like. I was, I just like how the water boils. Hey! <laughs> a bit too sweet, maybe. Ma? Yes? Is there something you're not telling me? <sighs> Hank, my dear boy. My dear, dear boy. Oh god, now we're going to find out the truth. I've always told you that your name came from the spirits, Hank. Well, in a way... It did. It was your brother who picked it. His name was Artie, and he was the best kid anyone could ask for. All the nonsense and myths about the gods, they're all stories to scare children. But I won't lie and say I didn't pray to them that evening. Oh, that night, the night of the fire, the universe was merciless. The sky felt so heavy, even before the sun set. You could tell death was in the air. Artie was afraid the fire would spread and he left to save his friends. He never came back. All we found was his burnt hat and torn clothes, pierced by those black stone needles. The fire went on for over a week. We ran and ran until we managed to escape here, in this little corner of the woods. This is where we finally stopped to rest. It was just the two of us from then on, trying to survive. You, me, and the pain that kept us company for all these years. I shouldn't have let him go. My gosh. That was really sad. I've never told another soul about this. I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Hank. I'm sorry I haven't told you after all this time. I was afraid. I thought that if you knew, it would make it real again. It would bring the pain back, and it would tempt death again somehow. So come take you too. No, Ma. It, no, it won't. I wouldn't let it. I'm sorry I lied to you. I understand. It's okay. I'm just... I'm just a little surprised, I guess. Artie loved you a lot. He was so strong, but also kind and caring. You were just as much. After that night, I didn't think I was going to make it. But you kept me afloat. You made me keep going. I'm sorry, Ma. You have nothing to be sorry about, my dear baby boy. You have an amazing and kind soul, which you always share with others, always so carefully. I'd like you to have this. It somehow kept Artie close to me all these years. I think it's time he was by your side for a while. Thanks, Ma. Thanks for telling me. I love you, dear. Love you too, Ma. Aww. That was cute. What did we get? Cat missing bag? I got a missing bag or something? Interesting. Where did it go? <laughs> I don't know. Or oh, was that an achievement? She said she was going to give me something, but I don't... I have no idea what she gave me. What does she say? There's always something to do around the house. Anyone? Okay, so back to the same dialogue, I guess. That was, like, really sad. 
really wasn't expecting a storyline like that to uh, to pop up, I have to say. It was really interesting, though, I have to say. That was cool. I, I liked it. Um, I'm going to see if I got any more traits to put in here. I'm still not done with this quest. My god. It's still going. Right, this one and this one is a movie buff, so hopefully this should do it. It should get finished soon. It should be done very soon. Okay, I've just collected the lilies, so, so we should get another exhibit item. Also, I got another thing happening with uh, this quest here. I've only got the barfly traits left, which I'm pretty sure I have somebody with that trait in. So I think we just have to wait a tiny bit more. Maybe one more day or something. Got something for me? Yep, not a great haul this time around. I only found these discounted dog collars from Annie. Hmm, yes. Well, it could have been worse. They could have been full price. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Oh my god. No, nothing. All right, fine. Fortunately, you don't have to go far in catching the short attention span of your average human. It seems like there aren't enough horrors in the world already, so humans decided to make some up. These myths and stories, are they real or just fairy tales? There's nothing more fascinating than what our own minds dream up. And even if you think something is just imaginary, doesn't a sliver of doubt make it that much more interesting? Hmm, okay, triple dog collar, like a Cerberus? Behold, a dog collar fit for a mythical beast. Who's to say they didn't need the occasional walk? <laughs> this is true, right? I wonder if we now have all the exhibits. I don't know. I have no idea. I wonder if there's like any achievements tied to like exhibits or anything. I've got so many things. Repair all the bear statues. Did I miss one? Guess I missed one somewhere. Collect all the clothes. They'll probably get that last bit of clothing from this quest. Complete all the resort management quests. That's yeah, I've got the last one of that. And two hidden achievements. Interesting. Okay. All right, let's put this exhibit item in. I don't know if there are any more of these, but they're really cool. I really have enjoyed collecting them. All right, there we go. I still got one MC there. That's just because I just made another one. But the museum is looking fantastic. I really like the way the museum looks, actually. It looks really nice, I have to say. I got a lot of exhibit items. So yeah, we're just waiting for this quest here and then we're going to use this thingy, this thing here, in the in the mines. It says it seems to be a piece of something bigger. I think you have to slot it into the door. Uh, but I'm not doing it until we've done this quest because I reckon that will be like the ending. I reckon the, qu the credits will probably come up. So that's why I was thinking of doing this quest first, getting that done. Um... So I got time to kill. I might just go look, see if I can find that last bear statue that I've apparently missed. No idea where it is. Oh, here it is. Great polar bear. Let's repair this. Is that the last one? Yeah, that was the last one. Bearest friends. So we've done that now, right? Just the clothing quest, the management quest, which I'm doing. And I don't know what these two secret ones are. Maybe for finishing the game? Maybe we'll get it for doing this final quest? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Alright, here we go. Moment of truth. It should finish in the morning. That took forever. <laughs> so I hope so. Alright, there we go. Yay! The final quest is done. Is the job complete? It sure is. I'm assuming this is the last one. Oh, nope, it's not. There's another one. <laughs> oh my god, what do you want me to do now? Level 1 arcade. Oh no, there's more. I was hoping that would be the last one. Nerd traits. Tinfoil hat traits. What is that? I don't know if I've ever seen the tinfoil hat traits. How many? Two? Oh my god, that's going to take ages. I'm going to have to do... I'm, I think I'm just going to have to go ahead with the next bit, actually. I don't even have any like people with that trait either. That could take a few more days. That's going to be a pain in the butt. I'll have to come back to that one, I suppose. That's annoying. I really want to see what happens though. So we're just going to we're just going to go for it. Let's go for it. I'm excited actually. Did I fix this up? Oh, this hasn't been fixed up either. Oh, well there you go. Now it's fixed. 
two extra guests now, so that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't even realize that wasn't fixed, but I guess it is now, so that's awesome. All right, this is the moment of truth. I'm going for it. Hopefully the game will let me continue afterwards and like I can finish that like final quest and see what the reward is for that. But I can't wait anymore. I waited long enough. I can't do it anymore. <laughs> I gotta know. I gotta know what's through this door. So we're going for it. Let's go. Okay, here it is. The moment of truth. Let's clear this away and see what lies beyond. I'm really curious about what's through here. All right, I hope it just like doesn't disappoint me because I've been really intrigued by this for a while. So let's see. Oh, where are we going? <gasps> What was through here? Oh my gosh. We found it. That That's the thing in the dream. What is it? Oh my god. It looks really cool. I really like it. H Hi. I thought I told you to move. I mean, I did move. <laughs> Eris, you look so awesome. You take on a great risk for coming here. I'm surprised you found your way in. What? What are you? Silence! Oh gosh, she's angry. You are to speak only when spoken to. This is not your parrot friend's cellar. I am Eris, and I do not respond to any inquiries. Unless I am required to. Uh, are you required to? Do not tempt fate. You are just as guilty as them for opening the way again opening the way for who the people i said silence if you wish to ask a question i will grant you one answer but it must be one one question one answer oh god okay do i get options oh my god ask erisk about humans okay so what do you know about people Humans are a walking, talking plague upon the world. They are capable of creating means they do not comprehend. Means of creation and means of destruction. And they are easily manipulated. They do not value other life around them unless it is to their benefit. They sometimes barely value their own. Their stupidity brought immeasurable destruction to this land bringing suffering to themselves, but also all the animals. Oh, what about the animals? One question, one answer. Dang. But we're going to ask another question anyway. <laughs> and? What do you know about animals? Animals are nothing if not less destructive humans. Animals do not seek to live beyond their, their means. Survival is both a noble and self-sustainable goal that animals do not seek to overstep. They are more sincere and less volatile than humans. That is why the god aspects keep their animal form instead of appearing human. So gods are real? Are you a god? One question, one answer. But I've had loads of questions. <laughs> sure. All right, so what do you know about gods? Gods are simple to perceive, but difficult to understand. We are aspects of the world, concentrated into a conscious form. We are not born. We are an accumulation of energies emitted by the universe. Every world is different, and every universe radiates different energies that assemble different gods. I am one of them. In this universe, I am the god of disorder and fear. That checks out. This world has another four. What are they? One question, one answer. Okay, ask more about Kai. Think very carefully about your next question. It could very well be your last. Oh god. Okay, what, what game am I playing again? I thought I was playing bear and breakfast. I thought I was just running a little bed and breakfast here. <laughs> Uh, one of the gods, um, is a bird. Which one of the gods looks like a bird? What? Is that your question? Yeah, that's the only one I saw in my dream. You saw Kai in your dreams? 
That is not possible. So it is Kai then? What are they the god of? One question, one answer. Come on, I've asked like 20 questions already. Just give me a straight answer. Are you lying? We are not lying. We really saw Kai, I guess. I'll tell you if you tell me what's going on. Very well. Oh, okay. I'm just really excited. In an ideal universe, humans would not have to exist. Yet they do, which proves just as far from ideal this one truly is. But in actuality, nothing is universal and neither are humans. Some are indeed born with capacities for more than just self-interest. Whether that can be considered good or bad depends on who you would address the question to. In the same terms, neither are all animals strictly beneficial to the precise flow of nature. Some are innately built with destructive tendencies. In reality, no creature born from disorder will ever adhere to one rigid set of structures. Either are capable of both good and bad, as it is governed by the gods, who are, by their very nature, the fruit of this orderly chaos. I, Eris, exist through the disorder and the abundance of fear it innately carries. Vara nurtures regret and envy, both in ample reserve throughout this world. Aribos reflects both wisdom and skill, although not exactly in high demand as of late. Hmm, it's a bear. <laughs> Tyne perpetuates violence and apathy, forces that have no trouble thriving on their own. Although suspiciously dormant for a while. And Kai, the oldest of us, who exists throughout the accumulation of order and light both of which have been extremely dim in recent times. Ah, so the bear is like innocent and like good and holy and like that doesn't happen very often anymore. That's sad. That is how the universe is governed, in harmony. Or perhaps how it should be. Hmm, very well. Uh, oh, the thing that was from the last conversation. <laughs> A disruption occurred in recent times. I do not know what it involved, but I know that it was strong. Humans enacted an amount of pain and destruction of overwhelming proportions. Kai has been absent since. I have been here trying to prevent another occurrence. Now speak, what did you see? I saw a dark figure with what looked like wings and very bright blue eyes. How could you see Kai? You have been making great efforts to entice humans back into this valley. It's like you said, not all people are bad. Some are actually really nice. But some? Yeah, some can really suck. Why would he appear to you? A lot of them just like to leave trash everywhere though. <laughs> hey, those are valuables. <laughs> Before the disruption, Kai reached out to me. They left me a relic. An onyx stone. A relic darker than the night. Oh, that's like the little needle I used to get into this place. What? One question, one answer. <laughs> Hank's doing it to him. <laughs> Tell me. Oh, jeez. All right. The doorway had a picture of a stag and one of its little antler bits was missing. What did it look like? It looked just like that. Very dark, but shiny. When I put it in, the door opened. I see. Then it is clear what I must do. You will take the onyx stone, and you will use it to find Kai. What? How am I supposed to do that? That is far- that is as far as my knowledge reaches. You must reach that conclusion on your own. But you must do it, and it must be soon. I was just getting used to this place. An iron key. Ah, now I can open that door and an onyx stone. Leave. Find someone who knows what this is. 
wow, this is like way longer than I was expecting, but I'm here for it. I'm really excited to see what happens. I love this fox thing. It's super cool. All right then, well, we're gonna finish this in the next episode. We've been going for a while. I am assuming we'll finish it in the next episode. <laughs> I kept thinking it was going to end, but it just keeps going. But it's awesome. I'm loving it. The story is really interesting. All this stuff with gods and humans and animals and the way humans act and the way animals ha act and if they're good and if they're bad. Very interesting stuff. Not what I was expecting. I would expect this kind of storyline from like an RPG game, not just like a little cutesy like <laughs> simulation game where you just run uh, like a, a bed and breakfast. It's really weird, <laughs> but I love it. It's really cool. Anyway, I think I am done for today. Thank you so much for watching. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my Patreons and members for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are interested in donating, there will be a link in the description box below to my Patreon page. Alternatively, you can also click the big join button underneath every video that I create to become a member of the channel. I also have a dedicated live streaming channel that you can find in the description box below or on my channel homepage. I regularly live stream over on that channel and it would be super cool if you could stop by sometime and say hello. I would really love that. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please comment, rate and subscribe and I hope I'll see you next time.